Consider these three groups of balls. We can add them in two different ways. The red and green balls can be added first before adding the result to blue balls. Or the green and blue balls can be added first before adding the red balls to them. Whichever method we choose, the final answer will not change. The same is true for addition of three rational numbers. If a over b, c over d, and e over f are any three rational numbers, where b, d, and f are not equal to zero, then we get the given equation. This is called the associative property of rational numbers with respect to addition. We can confirm this with an example. Consider the addition of these numbers. We will add 1 over 5 and 2 over 5 and enclose these numbers in brackets because they are being added first. The result 3 over 5 is then added to 4 over 5 to give us the rational number 7 over 5. Now, we will add the numbers in a different way. Instead of adding the first two numbers, we will add the last two numbers, 2 over 5 and 4 over 5, and enclose them in brackets as they are being added first. The result, 6 over 5, is then added to 1 over 5, to give us the rational number 7 over 5. Since the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, the associative property holds true for the addition of rational numbers. But what about the other operations? Would the same be true for subtraction, multiplication, and division? The associative law does not work for subtraction. This can be easily shown with the help of this example. Since the left-hand side is not equal to the right-hand side, subtraction is not associative. Now, observe these balls. If we change their arrangement to this, the total number of balls will not change. In other words, we can multiply any two numbers first. The same is true for the multiplication of three rational numbers. If a over b, c over d, and e over f are any three rational numbers, where b, d, and f are not equal to zero, then we get the following law. This is called the associative property of rational numbers with respect to multiplication. Consider the following numbers undergoing multiplication. First, we will multiply 1 over 5 and 1 over 3 and enclose them in brackets. The result, 1 over 15, is then multiplied with 3 over 2 to give us the rational number 3 over 30, which can then be simplified to 1 over 10. Now, we will multiply the numbers in a different way. Instead of multiplying the first two numbers, we will multiply the last two numbers, 1 over 3 and 3 over 2, and enclose them in brackets, since they are being multiplied first. The result, 1 over 2, is then multiplied with 1 over 5 to give us the rational number 1 over 10. The left-hand side and the right-hand side is the same, so multiplication of three rational numbers is associative. However, the associative law does not work for the division of three rational numbers. Note that in this example, the left-hand side of the equation is not equal to the right-hand side, which confirms our previous statement that division is not associative. Now, let us do a quick exercise. Verify the associative property with respect to addition and multiplication for the given rational numbers. Let us solve the problem together. First, we will form an equation as follows. The brackets show the order in which the rational numbers will be added. We will first solve the left hand side of the equation. Since the denominators are not equal, an LCM of 5 and 2 is taken as follows. Next, the numerators of these two numbers are added to give the answer 19 over 10. 19 over 10 plus 1 over 10 is equal to 20 over 10, which can be simplified to 2. 
Now, we will solve the right-hand side by first adding the last two rational numbers. Since the denominators are not equal, an LCM of 2 and 10 is taken as follows. We then add these numbers to get the rational number 16 over 10, which can be simplified to 8 over 5. 8 over 5 plus 2 over 5 is equal to 10 over 5, which is simplified to the number 2. Since the left-hand side of the equation is equal to the right-hand side, the addition of these numbers is associative. Finally, we will verify the associative property with respect to multiplication. By ensuring that the left-hand side and right-hand side of this equation is the same. 2 over 5 times 3 over 2 is equal to 3 over 5. 3 over 5 times 1 over 10 results in the rational number 3 over 50. On the right-hand side, we will first multiply 3 over 2 and 1 over 10, which results in the fraction 3 over 20. 2 over 5 times 3 over 20 is equal to 3 over 50. The left-hand side of this equation is equal to the right-hand side. So the multiplication of these rational numbers is associative. To summarize, the addition and multiplication of two rational numbers is associative. Subtraction and division of rational numbers is not associative.